Hi everybody, my name is Guillermo Rosales and I'm from Honduras. Good evening, classmates, Ms. Gracia. I'm Lesina de Torres and I'm from Bolivia. And today we're going to talk to you about women abuse in Arabia Saudita. We choose this topic because um, this last year, uh, 2015, it happened. Um, it was a big year for all women that live in Arabia Saudita. Um, this news is the, that that uh, it was the first year that a woman that a woman can go and vote and express uh, his opinion, his his opinion about about what president they want. Uh, this was the first year that uh, all women can uh, can uh, express their opinion and, and make his vote. Uh, in in all these centuries, uh, this, this was the first year in Arabia Saudita, and a woman uh, do it for her herself. Uh, there was a really important event. Uh, it was. Uh a huge step for women in Arabia Saudita and, and it will be something that will go to their history since there, it was their first time. But uh, what we want to talk to you about is women's abuse. Uh, it, this started with a news about a commercial of a uh, therapist uh, talking about how to beat your woman and when do you have to do it. In the, in the video, uh, it was shown in national television and men, uh, examples of men hitting their women. So, uh, it mentioned in the video that it has to be with a small wooden stick, uh, not a big one, or uh, you don't have to hit her in the face, but uh, you can only hit her uh, in somewhere it won't be shown. And it doesn't have to be with a knife. But the true story is that uh, people don't do it uh, exactly the way they, they told them. They do it their own way. Many uh, women in Arabia Saudita have been killed uh, in those um, abuse. And also, uh, women uh, in Arabia Saudita, uh, they don't have enough rights. This is because uh, women's uh, rights are a limit because uh, the following, because uh, women can't uh, drive a car because a uh, male doesn't want to. Women, uh, women cannot go out, that he or got, cannot go out uh, of her house without a male company. That, uh, that male company has to be her brother, her father, or her husband. Uh, also, women cannot uh, open a bank account without the husband permission um, this is one of the of the rights that women can to do is the is uh, to use a makeup or some cloth that uh, that shows her beauty and then a woman um, cannot uh, have a job without the, uh, the male uh, uh, acceptance or permission and this is one I think in my personal opinion one of the ridiculous uh, right uh, they women can't cannot read a female magazine without the male permission or the male revision of the, of that magazine uh, as he was mentioning uh, women are not allowed to drive not even if you're really rich or if you're really poor for example, in the news, they were showing uh, a rich woman, which uh, she was the first woman to uh, work on a radio station because she was allowed by her husband to do it. If, if it wasn't uh, because uh, uh, she was allowed, she wouldn't do it. So uh, she was uh, picked up every day by his brother and it was the only way she could uh, get herself to work. Uh, she could never drive and one of the other things is that uh, there was uh, this also this event in which a girl was uh, by, uh, raped by many men so she went to the police and and accused them of violations and rape and what she got was a big punish 
she was hit 200 times uh, with a rope for uh, supposedly uh, being the one who teased or or the one who caused the man to do it. So I think this is uh, a really sad situation and which women are really physical damage and even emotionally and in what way could this affect them? Um, I think a, a woman uh, in this country uh, uh, is um, how can uh, is is allowing to have these abuses um, being um, being uh, consequent. Another problem is that if if you uh, if a woman get uh, is a widow, um, they cannot go to hospitals or, or or find a job because they don't have a male company because they don't have a um, male that can uh, can uh, approve uh, those th those th things. Um, is uh, being a widow in Arabia Saudita is a dishonor because uh, you don't have that male figure that that uh, allows you to do things. And if you are sick or if, or if you don't have a job, you are going to die because you don't have that male company. Be and with our male company, you cannot uh, reach for for uh, medical support or go to find work. Um, all the all the mothers and uh, all this is one of, of one of main problems to all the mothers. Uh, once her daughters get married, that's her principal uh, objective in her life uh, to get um, a good husband for her dad. Uh, what does men believe uh, of this? Men uh, mention that uh, they are the support of their family. If they have their mother, their sister in their house, they are the ones who have to provide food and a shelter. So a uh, woman should be happy because they don't have to do anything else but be at home and make uh, the house chores. So this is a really... Uh, sad uh, thing that uh, in which a society in which males are superior and women are just uh, like part of uh, an item uh, on the house so uh, what do you think that it affects uh, all the people involved there in a future generation I think uh, the people that are affected especially are women Women because they are physically damaged and also uh, their daughters. What happens if uh, my daughter sees uh, myself uh, hitting uh, my wife? She's gonna believe that that's something right. So when she gets married and her husband hits her, she would think that it's okay. Uh, in the case of my son, watching my, uh, me hitting my wife he's going to believe that's something that's uh, right. So he will hit her wife also. And it will continue from generation to generation. So we have to be the ones who stop this. For example, by uh, posting social medias, by uh, not allowing um, uh, our governments to have a uh, commercial or business uh, relationship uh, with them. What uh, do you think could be a solution for this problem? Uh, I think uh, a solution for this problem is, uh, is um, inspiring women to talk louder because like uh, I already said, uh, women make uh, in, in 2015 uh, make um, uh, that they can go to both. They they express yourself. They wanted to, and they scream that they wanted to go and vote. I think uh, I think it's, it's it, it can be started or it has to be started in the, in her houses by by all the women um, uh, claiming for equal rights, claiming for for equal treatment because uh, because they they have to scream their opinion. 
they have to to say what they wanted they don't they don't have to close in this uh, ridiculousness uh, rights that they have i think women have to make a revolution in other words to to make this country change they they have to unite and scream what they want i it's, that's my opinion and we have to share it we have to uh help them in this revolution because we're also also part of it we're in the same world and we're all uh, part of the human race thank you this was our second audio journal my name is Guillermo thank you and Celia for your attention thank you bye, bye.